So now we're going to make a lid for that. And we're going to throw it from the hook. So what the hook means is we're not going to use this entire piece to make the lid. We use part of it. And when I'm making a lot of jars, what I like to do is I like to standardize the size of the openings. So, like for instance, I'll make all of the jars have this size opening and make a whole bunch of lids that correspond to those jars so that later when I'm trimming, I can mix and match. Because some lids just look better with other jars. And then you have a variety to choose from. Yes. Yeah. I measured the inside here. With this, yeah. With the calipers. So it doesn't matter to the exact location? It should be pretty exact. You want it to fit, so. So now we take our measurement that we have here. So I just measured that. So now I want to make sure that the piece I have is a little bit wider than this measurement. <clears throat> and I'll be using about that much of it. So for the throwing from the hump, I just want to indicate for myself where I'm going to be cutting it off with the wire. Open it. Open the inside, just like you're making a bowl. Then we refer back. You keep referring back to this measure over and over again. Now what we want to do is make sure, because we're going to put the flange here, so we want to make sure that we have wider than what we want because we're going to be pressing in right there. So right down in this part here is going to be the flange. So I press in. Remeasure it again. I kind of squeeze it so I'm making sure my measurement's staying the same. Okay, so it's still a little bit larger than what I want. We want to keep it larger because you can always trim some off. At this point, we're going to make the little rim out from the lid. And now we're going to pull this up and close it. Think bottom. So we're going to pull it up and in. Collar. Collar. So you alternate between collaring and pulling it. And then if you close it up. And I want it to look sort of like my um, base jar. So, clean up a little bit here with the rib. And then with a smaller tool, I can make the lid, I mean, the little knob. Look like the body of my pot. It almost looks like a little pot mm -hmm. on top of it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's matching design. Uh -huh. <laughs> so 
that's what's fun about that kind of lid. And then we're, um, I will need this little disquare tile now. Perfect. Undercut. Are you putting it an angle there? No, just straight. Just straight, okay. And then for cutting it off of the hump, you need to use a wire or a string that doesn't have a lot of bounce to it. You want something that's limp like that. Put it in that groove you just made. And as the wheel turns, you're going to pull that towards you. And then you just lift this up and off. Whoops. Let me try that again. Because I didn't cut all the way through it. 